Thank you, Haley. As temperatures surge, so does the risk on your mental health. Team coverage continuing now. News Channel 3's Marion Bouchot joining us live in studio with more on the impact and what you can do about it. Marion. So Karen, we talk a lot about taking precautions for your physical health when we see temperatures rise like this. A doctor I talked with says today that they're seeing more people with mental health issues when those temperatures reach dangerous highs. And there are studies to back this up. Sunshine isn't always the best medicine. You're gonna really start to feel those negative emotions, you know, uh, like depression, like exhaustion, like anxiety. Extreme heat can make everyday tasks harder and has even been connected to several mental health impacts. Adrian Hinckley is briefly visiting the desert but already noticed the heat's effects. Getting overheated like that, you start to get tired, irritable, angry, you're not thinking clearly. As medical director at Riverside University Health System, Dr. Michael Masiska notices the surge of mental health patients during heat waves. When your body temperature increases, uh, all your emotions can become intensified. Making it harder to manage your emotions. A recent study found a nearly 1% increase in mental health illness per one degree Celsius rise in temperature. It also saw more than a 2% increase in deaths related to mental health. It puts a little bit more stress on things. You gotta think a little bit more about what you're doing. It might feel a little sad because she aren't able to get around like you usually would if it's cooler. It's easier to become stressed, and so anxiety levels can increase. Uh, it kind of triggers your body's sympathetic response, so your heart rate rises. In other words, it can trigger your fight or flight response. The risk is even greater for seniors and people with pre-existing mental health conditions. They actually report greater levels of depression uh, during extremes in the temperature. What can you do to protect your mental health during extreme heat? You know, minimizing prolonged exposure uh, to the heat, and some people a lot more heat sensitive than others. Uh, staying hydrated. Um, not allowing yourself to get dehydrated. Another interesting study we found says that mental health related visits to emergency departments increased by 8% on the hottest days of summer compared to the coolest days. We've posted resources including hotlines and cooling centers on our website, KESQ.com. In studio, Marion Bouchot, News Channel 3.